In this video, a review of not only the greatest creatine I've ever used, but the absolute best supplement for my performance as a bodybuilder that I've ever used, and that is creatine glycerol phosphate. Stuff has made me stronger, it's made me harder, and I've been able to stay more dry as I've been building lean muscle mass over the years. So I started taking this stuff four years ago. A little bit of a story, it was recommended to me by my bodybuilding coach. I'd just been taking creatine monohydrate just like everybody else I know at the time. And as a bodybuilder, you wanna cycle off that stuff before a show because it makes you retain water. I would notice that whenever I was taking it, I would feel I would get stronger and I'd be bigger and I would gain five pounds after that loading phase because we all load it for a week before we start, before we go back to the standard dose. And I would get bigger, I would get stronger, but I'd also get more watery, and I just didn't like the way that I felt. And so it's not how you want to look on stage, right? You want to look hard, you want to look dry, you want to look vascular. So my coach was like, Colt, you need to take this stuff called creatine glycerol phosphate. And he sent me the link, and so I started buying it from Metabolic Nutrition. I have cycled off of it maybe once or twice, basically just because I ran out. <laughs> and whenever I'm off of it for a week or two and I start taking it again, my, my lifts go down and they all come right back as soon as I start taking it. Um, this stuff, has, it, it, it gives me leverage. I notice it mostly on bench press, every exercise, but mostly bench, I feel harder and I feel fuller and I feel like I have more leverage to be able to push better weight on bench press. So that being said, I do notice it on every single exercise though. It's one of those products that sells itself. I love, I, I sell um, all of Metabolics Nutrition's products personally and uh, it all started with this one. But yeah, you will see that we have pretty much their entire catalog <laughs> on our shelf here at Skull Bell's Gym. And it all started with this creatine glycerol phosphate. Um, I love sampling it out because I tell everybody, you try it one time and make sure you take it pre-workout. You know, creatine monohydrate doesn't really matter when you take it because it's not as fast absorbing. This stuff, you'll notice it if you, you'll notice a difference if you take it right before your workout versus just like later in the day. I mean, just like any creatine, you can take it basically whatever you want and still get 80 to 90% of the benefits. But I notice a specific increase in strength if I do take it with my pre-workout right before my workout, obviously. So as far as flavors go, <sighs> blue raspberry, hands down, is my absolute favorite. And pro tip, uh, squirt a little bit of lemon juice in it and it's like a raspberry lemonade. It's delicious. The apple flavor is pretty good. The fruit punch flavor is pretty good too. But um, if, you're get, if you're getting it for the first time, I would I would highly, highly recommend the blue raspberry flavor. So other than that, as far as the science goes, from what I understand, there's a glycerol bond attached to the creatine. So what happens is when you take creatine like monohydrate, your body can't absorb all of it, which is why you get bloated. And then whatever it doesn't absorb, it gets converted to creatinine, which is why you don't wanna go too crazy high on your doses for monohydrate. Um, that's toxic to your body. This keeps the creatine molecules intact until it gets into your muscle and the glycerol helps to retain water inside the muscle cells, which is where you want it. First thing that you can do is get off of your creatine, then your muscle bellies go flat and they don't press out against the skin to give you that dry, hard definition that you want. So on one hand, you're too big and too watery and on the other hand, you're too flat, which is why creatine glycerol phosphate for me has been perfect and I take it the day of the show. I don't even care because I know that it's not making me retain water inside the subcutaneous layer. It's bringing that water inside the muscle cells, which is where I want it. Um, a lot of athletes will supplement glycerol itself just as a pump. There's not really enough glycerol in this supplement to give you a pump. But what it does is it, it, it does help with retaining water inside the muscle cells. It keeps that creatine intact so that it goes where you want it and you're actually using less creatine than what's a standard dose of like monohydrate because your body's actually using everything that you're giving it. It's healthier, it's better for you, better performance. I love this product. Um, I'm a nice guy, but if you ever wanna make me mad, uh, steal my creatine glycerol phosphate because this is absolutely the best supplement I have ever used. I love this stuff and I'm probably gonna use it forever.